Good afternoon, everyone. Federal Reserve status all back online. What was with that full outage of all electronic payments? Trillions of dollars affected. Test run, maybe. Article out trying to compare U.S. food CPI with 10-year U.S. bond yields. I don't think that's really going to correlate any longer with USA going negative bond yields. I wish my food price went negative. But with a bare minimum of four and a half trillion in 2021 slated eh, food price increases, hyperinflation in Germany, it wasn't really the hyperinflation. It was the lead up to it when prices were doubling, tripling, and then that one year hit 41x. So welcome to the new Germany, the United States of money printing. Remember, Bitcoin does not go down when the Federal Reserve transfer does. The last time we had a Democrat-led Congress and president was during the first years of the Obama administration. Janet Yellen was the Fed chair then, and now soon to be the new Treasury Secretary under Biden. Obamacare was passed, President Obama, and Congress sent billions to banks and Wall Street. That was the perfect recipe, and gold soared more than 200% from 2008 to 2011. Patriot Gold Group has the No Fee for Life IRA where your IRA or 401k can be in physical gold and silver and you may be eligible for the No Fee for Life IRA. So go ahead and give the folks at Patriot Gold Group a call to discuss physical gold and silver and the knowledge that Patriot Gold Group is Consumer Affairs top rated gold IRA dealer five years in a row from 2016 till present. Click the link in the description box below for more information. And now on with the video. And quietly flying under the radar, the Federal Reserve investigating itself. Why the massive outage of interbank payment systems. So the ACH, Automatic Clearinghouse, is a, a national system, and you know it as wire transfers or bank settlements across borders. And the main categories are payroll, social security, tax refunds, corporate payments, utility payments, as well as being able to settle overseas. This all ground to a complete halt, as you see indicated by all the X's. So you have to ask yourself, is it a dry run? Because later in the day, some started to come back online like Fed Cash and the national settlements and finally, by the end of the day, but that was well after banking hours had closed, it was returned to full working status. So what's happened there? Was this something as a test to see how much would be affected? ATMs, what if you couldn't get to your bank? Oh, I'm sorry, we can't. It's an outage. What happens during a three-day, four-day, five-day banking holiday? It's already been tested. You can take down the entire system and how much was your life affected in the immediate term when this went down? Probably not too much. Let it trickle on for four or five days when you have no access to your funds. Through either ACH, Fedwire, ATMs, withdrawing from your bank, and your payroll wouldn't be there either because your employers couldn't pay you. Wow. What kind of dire straits would that put you in if we all lost access to our money and tuck this in the back of your mind, when ACH and FUDWIRE go down completely, non-transactional, Bitcoin's still operable. I like it best here, Bitcoin Archive. Today's Federal Reserve Payment Systems FUDWIRE goes down, freezing wire transfers between banks. Bitcoin didn't go down. Nor would your physical silver or gold in your hand. Some things are beyond Fed control. Interesting article here coming out comparing the U.S. Food Consumer Price Index, that CPI, to the 10-year U.S. bond yield. Now, that's great for the U.S. that there seems some sort of correlation, but jumping over to China, there's definitely a break between U.S. pricing for pork and corn, and then that wraps right back into U.S. pricing on the bond yield and the CPI correlation. So China doesn't seem to fit the model. They're exponentially above where we would be on this. But glimpsing at this USA real yield chart, I highly doubt your food prices are going negative. I know every time I look in the supermarket, it's more expensive, more expensive, and noticeably more expensive. So there's obviously a break in this CPI US bond yield parallel tandem. 
And then taking a wider view here of the percent of global debt in local currency yielding below 1%, 75% of all nations on earth. So seeing a debt-based system, we just can't keep going. The, the way the function of money is created, dispersed to create more economic activity, it's run its course, literally run its course. There's nowhere else for it to go except implode. And right on time, this grand solar minimum is going to reduce food production globally anyway. And if you search back through history, and if you're a fan of events in history, the catalyst for major changes in economy, government, and population migration are these 400-year grand solar minimums. I encourage you to go back every 400 years from, say, 1640 and just keep traipsing back in time and look at the massive shocks and changes based on the inavailability of the societies of the day to grow food to feed their citizens. We're back at another one, and I truly believe that's the reason for the Great Reset, not because they care about equality, this globalist bunch from Davos, and the central banks. They never cared about you until suddenly this year. Well, that's strange. 2,000 years, you're just a serf, and then today they care about you? Oh, wow. What changed? Nothing. It's a narrative. You're still being used, but in a different fashion. So welcome to the United States of money printing. Just change those arrows out and put $100 bills in there. That fits for today. Because there's no possible way that our food can still track the bond yields when adding $4.5 trillion the last 12 months, and with the new administration jumping in with all these austerity programs and just never-ending giveaways to everybody, I would expect that to go another minimum 4.5, probably around $6 trillion in the next 12 months. And I like the green debt out the wazoo. We're going to need to add more bands up on this chart here by the end of next year. So national debt is different than Fed balance sheet. So you hear a lot of these talked about in the news, but please remember they're two different animals. Although they're intertwined with some DNA strands, they're still quite different animals. This is when the Federal Reserve prints that money to take actual ownership of an asset, whatever asset it is. But you can see how much they put on their balance sheet up 81% over the last 12 months. That is unbelievable how quickly that's going. It's in tandem with the money printing. But again, if we're going to be with all these austerity programs and the new administration, this is going to increase as well. There's no possible way that we are not going to experience massive inflation. And the reason I bring these points up here is going back to the end of World War I, looking at Germany, hyperinflation in the Weimar Republic you're familiar with, but it also happened in Austria, which nobody really talks about. But you could buy an entire estate and farmland with the vineyards, Chateaus, 20 acres or 50 acres, these massive plots for Europe size for one gold piece. Now, leading up to that, you notice that the velocity of money was slowing down, much like it is today. People aren't working, they're not spending, but then the inflation is coming in, and those two red circles are the most important. And the most important on the chart here, these red circles, because I believe right now we are definitely at that 21% inflation, a lot of it's hidden. You really need to go to the shadow stats to see what the true inflation numbers are. But you see that 1919 era there, it goes 2x, 2.2x. I believe this is where we are at 2021 coming in by the end of the year. Into Q1 of 2022, we'll definitely see that 2x increase. People complained and then it pulled back a little bit. And then here, 1922 is when they got a 41x increase in price. It was the lead up to the massive, quote unquote, hyperinflation that really did everybody in. It wasn't when it finally went to 850 million or 850 billion. Didn't really matter. It's just absurd numbers at that point. That's not what got everybody. What cut everybody down and caused the most turmoil was the lead up to that. Doubling, tripling, quadrupling prices. And then you see that 41X. I mean, because the important number also not in red is that far right there where it's showing the output of GDP. U.S. and the world is seeing something very similar with this COVID. We're going negative, bounces back positive, shrinks back a little bit, and then over. So I do believe we are for sure around the 1919 point. We're going to be hitting double prices this year. That's why I think that whole bond yield with the food CPI 
it's going to break, especially when fuel prices start rising. And I cannot believe they would close down the pipelines and these types of things to drive our fuel prices to $100 again. So many people out of work, food prices increasing, utility prices increasing, and on purpose now taking gasoline to $100 a gallon. This is a coordinated move to just implode the economy so cryptocurrency can rise as the new central means of payment. And keep an eye on XRP. There's a lot of central banks going into this and the suspension of XRP for the public done on purpose, at least in my research, it's going to be the new reserve that central bank digital currencies are going to be built on top of, which you are not welcome in. You either own XRP or you don't. You're never going to be able to get your hands on it again as it's going to fall into the forked XRP creating the new central bank digital currencies for each nation out there. If you have some, you're lucky you do. Not financial advice, but all signs pointing to the collusion to keep it as such and move it to the new settlement across all borders. No more Fed wire. Who needs that? You can have XRP in the forked central bank digital currencies, which is why you're going to need to grow your own food more than ever during these times. Because if you're growing your own food, if food prices increase 5, 10, 20, 40 X, you're going to be growing tradable commodities. This is why I would highly encourage you to read the timelines of what happened during the Weimar hyperinflation run-up. Not the event itself, but the run-up to it. And also what was traded during those times and what were the most valuable food products to grow and trade. It will give you an entirely different look on how you want to prepare moving into these next couple of years. Not just for yourself and your family, but to be able to have something that you could trade for. During these times when money is not going to be so functional and until that new cryptocurrency system gets set up, grow your own food. And it's springtime and the selection at trueleafmarket.com, which the links in the description box below, it helps support this channel, bringing you more research like this. They have grow guides for every type of plant that you would want to grow or vegetable. All the starter trays, everything you need to know about growing your own food available right at your fingertips. It's a perfect time for you to get that new skill set built up. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video, and I'll see you next time.